The ocean brought them together in the Bahamas. Their first date involved a beach cleanup. So it is no surprise the couple started a nonprofit to raise awareness about ocean pollution. But we discover just about every day you can find this couple combing the beach. They're not looking for shelves, they're searching for trash. It's endless. It's the mystery, the vastness, um, and, and the beauty. It's three, three quarters of our planet, right? When the ocean is calling, Tanil Mahar and Wood Belcher must go. Bags in hand, the couple turns long walks on the beach into a scavenger hunt. Together, they started the nonprofit Beach Relief four years ago. And we clean beaches of plastic, microplastic debris, and it's become a passion for us. The idea was to bring awareness to the state of our oceans. Right now, we've got all these like twigs and stuff. Underneath all that is where the plastic's hiding. And when they're not organizing beach cleanups, they're doing it themselves. Nearly every day you can find the couple making their way past sunbathers and picking through seaweed, beach combing for plastics washed up on shore. Mostly today, plastic. That, that looks like a shell, doesn't it? But that's not. That's a plastic top to some type of tube. Plastic that will end up in the stomachs of birds, turtles, fish, and other wildlife. Most of this stuff is from around the world. Some of their more interesting like finds that, just... end up here. We are in the Beach Relief Museum. <laughs> it's a museum <laughs> of trash so set up in their garage. There's a lot of weird things. You'll find items from far and wide. Aloe water from China, Cuba, radio songs. Either a cruise ship or Haiti. We found a 1952 Buick hubcap. Why would a shoe mold end up on the beach here? But things like this do, and it reminds us how small the world really is. This is what we've kept, and it is only a small percentage of what we've actually taken off the beach. Each item has a story. This is a crazy beach find. Stories like the couple posts on their YouTube channel. Guess how long pill boxes have been around? Would it surprise you if I said 1500 BC? Stories they hope inspire others. Gotcha. To make a difference too. We're taking an environmental problem. We're leading by example. And I'm not a scientist. I don't know how to stop global warming and stop these things from happening. But this is something that I can do that I feel like I'm doing something. Good folks. By the way, I returned your shoe mold. Ha. The couple tells us they've done nearly 850 beach cleanups, collected eight tons of trash. That's how just a few people can make a difference. If you'd like to learn more about beach relief and maybe even coordinate a beach cleanup event with them, we've included a link to their website at clickorlando.com. It's where you can also nominate someone for the Getting Results Award. Search for the form right there under the Getting Results tab on the homepage. Tons of trash. Can I get on my soapbox right now? Go ahead, uh, do your You thing. know, it's so, I love them. I absolutely love yeah. them. And you, you don't even have to schedule a beach cleanup. Just go to the beach every time you go, take a trash bag, fill it up, and leave. And it's amazing. You will fill it up. And it's like an Easter egg hunt every time you go. And you get real results. Absolutely. Yeah.